this morning, I want to get into the word, amen, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to greet you guys at the end of the service, uh, but I want to get back into the word, and I'm excited to bring this word before you today, amen. It is um, taken from, yeah, uh, Luke chapter 17, and I'm reading from verses 11. It says, now it came to pass as he went to Jerusalem, he went to where? Jerusalem. Jerusalem, he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. Amen. So I'm not going to deal with that too much. I, I dealt with that last week. Uh, 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 you're going to pass through some stuff to get to your destination. You know, li life is a, a journey. It's a, it's a, it's, we are pilgrims. It's a process. From, from the womb to the tomb, from the, from the cradle to the grave. Uh, from, you, you know, it, it's a process. A a and if you live long enough, you will go through some stuff. The good and the bad. You will go through uh, success and failure. You'll go through uh, celebration. You'll go through rejoicing. You'll go through some mourning times. You, you, you know, but, 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 but we thank God. Amen. We're going through with God. With God, all things are possible. Not with man, with God. So when you're going through, uh, go through with God. So this, they went through. All right? Hallelujah. And there he met, entered a certain village, and there he met what? He met 10 men that were lepers who stood afar off. Who stood afar off. That was social distancing. Yeah. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Listen to me. Every one of you that are watching today, you have the ability to open your mouth and vocalize some declaration. Speak. Amen. You have David said, I cried to the Lord with my voice and he heard me. Amen. Use your voice, hallelujah, as a powerful weapon to speak declaration, to speak truths, hallelujah, in the name of the Lord. So they lifted up their voice. They didn't have much going for them, but at least they had their voice, hallelujah. Watch this. Verse 14 says, so when he saw them, he said unto them, and I'm going to pick it up from there. He said unto them, go show yourself to the priests. And so it was that as they went, as they went, something happened in the miraculous and something happened in the supernatural. As they went, they were cleansed. Glory to God. And one of them, oh, I, I could stop right there. One of them, one of them, there were 10, but one of them, are you one of them? Are you one of them this morning? Whether you're in South Africa, whether you're in UK, whether you're in Trinidad, are you one of them? We sing the song this morning, give thanks with a grateful heart. Are you one that know how to say thank you? One of them, not the majority. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. One of them, one of, oh, can I stay here? One of them, one of them. Hallelujah. When he saw that he was healed. Now watch this. They were all cleansed, but now he, he was healed. Return, or oh, one Bible said, one version said, he turned back. Dropped what he was doing and with a loud voice glorified God. I'm sorry if I'm loud this morning. Hallelujah. I'm loud for God. Hallelujah. You know, one man was saying, Jesus, and they tried to quiet him. They said, oh, uh, take it easy, take it easy. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy. And Jesus said, ah, you got my attention. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, yes, there's a time for meditating, but there's a time to speak and open your mouth and pray. Hallelujah. Verse 16, and he fell down on his face. His, at his feet, giving him thanks. And that's what I want to share on this morning. Thanks. Giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. Glory to God. He was a stranger. Hey, sometimes strangers. Look, 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 look. I'm going to get into that in a minute. And Jesus said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? They were missing in action. Glory to God. Were there not any 
found who returned to give glory to God except this foreigner, except this stranger? And Jesus said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith, thy faith had made thee whole. Father, we thank you for your word this morning, O oh God. This word is to edify, uplift. This word, O oh God, is for somebody today. This word will have an impact. This word will go forth with power and authority in the name of Jesus. So we thank you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So last week I shared uh, about going through, and this week I want to share, amen, from verse 14. Hallelujah. I want to share from verse 14. Now he says here, uh, so when he saw them, he said unto them, go. What did he say unto them? Go, show yourself to the priest. You know, it's funny. Uh, Jesus did not lay hands on them. God could have speak to them and say, leprosy, go. But you know what he did? He told them to go and show yourself to the priest. Stay with me, y'all. Stay with me. Go. I often tell people how you spell go. G-O. G-O-D is God. G-O-O-D is good. So go is one third of God and it's half of good. Go. It's good to go with God. When Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, he said, loose him and let him go. When, when, when Elijah spoke to the uh, woman, amen, that had lost her two sons, amen, to the creditors, he says, go, borrow, go, sell. I want to say to us this morning, we got to make a move. We got to go. Now, 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 watch this. Stay with me. There's a saying, nothing happens until something moves. Sometime, God wants us to be engaged. Not just to sit there and say, send me a miracle. God, you know, his ways and his thoughts, they are past finding out. He, like I said, he could have simply prayed for this man, lay hands on them. He could have do what he will. He is God all by himself. But look what he did. He got them, he got them engaged. He says, go and show yourself to the priest. Sometimes you got to make a move. You got to make a move. You know, there was a leper by the name of Naaman of the Syrian. He had a position. He was a captain. But guess what? The man that God spoke into his life didn't pray for his healing. He says, go and wash in Jordan seven times. And as he did that, even though he was reluctant, when he did it, he got his miracle. He got his breakthrough. He got his deliverance. Sometimes, listen, there's a saying, amen, that, 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 uh, in order, you have, you don't have to start to be great, but you have to, you, you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. You got that? In order to be great, you have to start. So I say to you, start where you are, use what you have, and do the best you can. Hallelujah. There was four lepers. They sat by the gate in the time of famine. Plus they were sick. And they said one to another, why sit we here and die? Let's make a move to the camp of the Syrian. If they kill us, we will still die. And as they were moving, something happened in the miraculous. God sent a thunder in the sky. The Syrians, they left the camp and they ran because they thought there was an abushment coming. When you move, something happened. Procrastination is the thief of time. I want to start losing weight. I want to start a job. I want to start the gym. I want to start school. You know, you got to start. Just do it. There's a powerful slogan by night. It says, just do it. You got to do it. Not the hearers will be justified, but the doers of the word. So Jesus told them to go. Go in the name of the Lord. And he says, go and watch this. Show yourself to the priests. Now remember I told you last week that in the book of Leviticus it talks about leprosy at length in 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 in, in um in the book of Leviticus let me let me get you something from Leviticus quickly Leviticus get your bibles Leviticus chapter 13 I'll read verses just probably verses 9 and 10 
when the lepers saw is on a person then he shall be brought to the priest in the olden day the priest was the one stay with me y'all the priest was the one that would examine the leper and would pronounce clean or unclean the priest is the one that would say you have to be shut up or quarantined for seven days so when jesus said go show yourself to the priest the priest was the one that would pronounce them clean hallelujah verse 10 says and the priest shall examine him and indeed if the swelling on the skin is white and it has turned the hairs white and there is a spot of raw flesh on the swelling it is an old leprosy hallelujah oh glory to god on the skin of the body then the priest shall pronounce him unclean see the priest was the one that would pronounce them hallelujah look at verses uh, look at the last verse in that chapter the law of leprosy leprous plague in a garment or wool or linen either in the uh, rock or woof or in anything made of leather to pronounce it clean or to pronounce it unclean look at verse 40 look at chapter 40 in the next verse the law the lord spoke to moses saying this shall be the law of leper of the leper hallelujah this shall be the law of the leper for the day of his cleansing he shall be brought to the priest so you understand what i'm saying now is the priest was the one that would pronounce them clean amen so when jesus told them go and show yourself to the priest now here what happened glory to god i i challenge you this morning to make a move make a move make a move make a move in the name of the lord as they went <laughs> as they went hear what the bible said they were cleansed it means sometimes you have to be obedient sometimes you have to learn how to take instructions as they were in motion as they were on the move as they were going hallelujah as they were obedient as they were listening to instructions as they, now now watch this they did not get to the priest because the priest would normally say clean or unclean as they were going when you make a move you start making connection when you make a move god start opening doors when you make a move god begins to connect you with people once you begin to make a move something happens in the universe something happens in the atmosphere there is a level of energy there's a level of vibration there's a level of faith there's a level of possibility when you make a move as they went they were cleansed glory to god glory to god stay with me and one of them one of them the power of one sometimes you can't follow the crowd sometimes you can't run with everybody one of them sometimes you gotta move even though sometimes you gotta do it quietly sometimes you gotta do it alone sometimes you're in the minority sometimes the odds are against you sometimes you are misunderstood sometimes you are hurting but you're still moving you're feeling down but you're still going you're bleeding but you're leading you've got to continue when folks want to give up let me tell you something i've been doing this for 40 years amen i've seen people come and go and when people are not feeling to do it pastor rojas apostle i have to do it every sunday i have to be here i have to encourage somebody i have to speak into somebody's life i have to bring a word of edification i have to bring a prophetic word i have to bring a word of encouragement are you hear what i'm saying one of them one of them when he realized that he was healed he turned back hallelujah glory to god and with a loud voice, he glorified God. Are you one of them? This morning, I want to make a declaration. I want to pose a profound question, a sober question. Are you one of them? Listen, folks, we must learn to say thank you. It takes nothing from your candle to light somebody else's candle. 
The word of God says in Psalms chapter 103, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Praise and bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. It has an S at the end. Isn't God been good to you? Hasn't God been good to you? Not just the mere fact that he woke you up this morning, but God has been faithful. God has been good. Hallelujah. I spoke a few weeks ago about the spirit of complaining. I pray this morning, after this program or during this program, amen, we'll all leave here with an attitude of gratitude. We will all leave here saying, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I magnify you. Lord, I glorify you. Lord, I bless you. Hallelujah. One man. One brother. One sister. One son. One daughter. One father. One pastor. One member. One teacher. One. Suddenly we follow the crowd. Don't join the crowd that rebels. Don't join the crowd that complain and whine. Be smart. Know what God has done for you. And when everybody's singing a one song, sometimes you got to withdraw and say, is this working for me? Is this the right thing to do? One man, the, my job, the minority. One man. Hallelujah. He returned. He returned and with a loud voice glorified God. And he fell down. Watch this. He fell down on his face. Uh, Amen. At his feet, giving him thanks, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. In other words, he was a stranger. Hey, let me say this, man. I have been doing ministry for over 40 years. Amen. In life, in the workplace, I've worked in the secular. You know, I've seen, man, I've seen. Sometimes, listen to me, sometimes the people who you think will never help you, helps you. Sometimes the people who you sow into, who you pour into. They are the ones that turn against you. Jesus said, I came to my own and my own received me not. But as many as receive him, to them he gave power to become sons. Some people have a short memory. How can you forget where he bought you from? He bought you out of a Mary clay. He bought you out of a horrible pit. Some of us remember when things were bad, when things were hard, and look how God has blessed you now, and amen, you forget. In the book of Deuteronomy, say, least you forget. Remember, it is he who has given you the capacity or the power to get wealth. You, how can I forget where he bought me from? How can I forget what he has done for me? When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, my soul cry, hallelujah, I thank God for saving me. One man, a stranger. Sometimes your own folks. Jesus said, I, I, a prophet is without honor in his own country. Sometimes we appreciate others than our own. Listen to me. Let me say this this morning. Appreciate your own wife. Ladies, you're supposed to tie amen. Men, appreciate your own husband. Listen, let me, let me tell you something. Can I keep it real? If somebody, if somebody, if somebody is treating your, appreciating your husband, and you treat the man terrible, disrespect, and somebody is appreciating him, another woman is appreciating him, you wouldn't like it. If a man is not treating his wife right, and somebody else starts treating her, he listen, you, you see how deep you are as a Christian. Don't wait for somebody else to do what you're supposed to do. Appreciate your own children. They might not be perfect. Don't compare them with the Joneses. My children are not perfect. They are far from it. But I thank God for them. Even sometime in their dysfunctional state, I thank God for them. We don't thank people because they're perfect or imperfect. Because they're strong or they're weak. We thank them for who they are. Some people have been so good to you. You need to get a card and put something in it and say thank you. I appreciate you. Hallelujah. Don't have amnesia. Don't only act a certain way when you want something. 
When you drink from the well, never forget the one that dug it. Can somebody, somebody say thank you? And some folks will never say thank you. No matter what you have done for them, they will never, it, it's like, it's like that word is so hard to come up of them. What it takes to say thank you. Hallelujah. This man was a stranger. By the way, the Jews, they had class warfare with the, the Samaritans. And yet the stranger, the Bible said he turned back. He dropped everything and he went to Jesus and told him, thank you, Lord, for healing me. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you, Lord, for delivering me. Thank you, Lord, for the breakthrough. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings. Amen. Could somebody write on the screen, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody survived cancer. Say thank you, Jesus. Somebody survived COVID-19. Say thank you, Jesus. Somebody survived a miscarriage. Say thank you, Jesus. Somebody survived a car accident. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he fell down on his feet. Hallelujah. And he was a stranger. Like I said, sometime, sometime your own. And send him a stranger. Say thank you. If someone opened the door for you, just don't walk in. Say thank you. If somebody's carrying a heavy load, stop and give them a hand. And if someone helped you, say thank you. When you were down and out, somebody was there for you. When it was five years ago, say thank you. And, and let me say this, let me say this, let me say this. I don't care how much scripture you know and how much scripture you can quote and how deep you profess to be. If you don't have a thankful heart, I'm not impressed. It takes nothing out of you to say thank you. Some people raised you. Some people mentor you. They spoke into your life. And you forget about them. Hallelujah. Watch this. I want to bring something to you. Jesus said. Who said it? Jesus said. Where were, were there not ten clans? Were there not ten clans? Where are the other nine? Watch this. I want to say this morning, don't focus, don't focus on, focus on the thankful. Don't focus on those who, God bless you man, you do good in your good pleasure, do good and God is going to open doors. Sometimes you do good and it, it ends up falling on your children, it's a generational thing. Blessings are generational. Amen. Sometimes it might miss you, but amen. It, 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 it caught your grandson. It caught you. When you do good, when you do good, do good, do good, do good. Serve the Lord with gladness. I'm telling you, the Bible said in Psalms 107, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. One, one Psalm said, Give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercies endure it forever. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercies endure it throughout all generations. Hallelujah. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. You got to say it. Don't just think it in your heart. Uh, amen. Just say it. Say thank you. Jesus asked a question. Now watch this. God is God all by himself. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The world and data dwell therein. A thousand cattle on the hill belongs to him. The silver is mine. The gold is mine, said the Lord. God don't want nothing from you. You don't have nothing that God so desire. But what God desire from you, amen, is to say thank you. He asked the question. He was observant. He watched them. He watched their behavior. He said, wait a minute. Ten were cleansed. Where are the nine? Now watch this. He did not focus on the nine. He just asked where were the nine. He didn't say go get them back. He didn't say oh they're ungrateful. Oh they're not. no, 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 no. He focused on the thankful. He, 
sometimes you got to love everybody, but you can't focus uh, on, oh, glory to God. you got to focus on the thankful. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus said, uh, were there not ten? Where are the other nine? He didn't say, go bring them back. He just asked, where are the other nine? He never mentioned them in life again. Don't focus on the ungrateful. Focus on the thankful. And what Jesus did was this. Hallelujah. He said, were they not found who return to give glory to God except this foreigner, except this stranger? And hear what he says. And he said unto him, arise. Go thy way. Thy faith. Hallelujah. Has made thee whole. This man went back. Fell on his face. Fell at Jesus' knees. And said, thank you, Lord. You didn't have to do it, but you did it anyway. And because, before I go back to my business, before I go back to my agenda, before I go back to my friends and family, I know I've been quarantined. I know I've been on lockdown. But can I, can I say thank you? Can I say thank you, Lord? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for healing me. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you, Lord, for delivering me. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me. Thank you, Lord, for promoting me. Thank you, Lord, for favor. Thank you, Lord, for opening doors. Thank, oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And Jesus said, oh, arise. Thy faith has made thee whole. Now, I want you to watch something. First, they were all cleansed. Then, when he realized he was healed, God told him, arise. Go thy way, thy faith had made thee whole. Thy, thy faith had made thee whole. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Wholesomeness. When, when you give thanks, it completes you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I have blessed people in my life and people have blessed me. It's not a one-way street. We all have to be grateful. We all have to be thankful. And, and watch this. When you are thankful, don't just say thanks under your breath. Sometimes you bless people publicly and they, they don't even want to say thank you. They, they call you one side and say thank you. Listen, it's okay to say, listen, this person sowed in my life. This person was when I was down. I always remember goodness of people and kindness of people. Some folks came to this country. Somebody opened the doors for you. Somebody give you your first break, your first job. And you act like they don't exist. You forget them. You don't have time. Hallelujah. Say thank you. Tell your husband thank you. Tell your daddy thank you. Tell your pastor thank you. And, 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 and don't only say thank you in words. Sometimes you could do something by saying thank you. Don't send a blank envelope every time. Put something in it and say I thank you. I value you. I appreciate you. That's another subject. When you want God to bless you, you got to tap into things. The Lord how to tap in. I'm going to share that. A largeness of heart. The Lord gives Solomon a largeness of heart. If you stick around small-minded people, they will wear you out. you got to learn how to break away and break out. And, and you have to know how to take it to the next dimension or to the next level. Now watch this. Do you know that one man? You know, it's funny when people are in pain, they can come together. When you need rescue, you know, when, when you lay, if you're laying on the side of the road bleeding, you don't care if the EMS worker is white or black or Hispanic, you don't care. You just want, you just want relief. It's so funny when people are hurting, they could understand each other's pain. But understand something. When you begin to grow, when you begin to evolve, when God begins to take you to the next level, you can't stay at one level all the days of your life. You, sometimes you can't stay with the same people. I'm not saying to, to discriminate. I'm not saying to look down. But you cannot stay on that same level. One man, he, he elevated himself from the pack. He didn't stay with these nine guys. I don't know what these nine guys did. The Bible didn't, it didn't worth mentioning them anymore. And sometimes you cannot stay at the same level or the same level of people who's talking cheap and talking small. They will nickel and dime you till the cows come home. Sometimes you got to raise your level. I'm always looking to go higher. I'm always looking to tap in somebody who's ahead of me. Amen. Because I want to grow. I want to expand. Hallelujah. This one man, sometimes that group that 
you're hanging with. All you're doing is talking about people's business. All you're doing is gossiping. There's no progress. There's no future. You've got to break away from that kind of behavior and that kind of mentality and that kind of mindset. Even though they will call your name, even though you may be misunderstood. One man, he left the group. He left the pack. And he said, uh-uh, I'm not going to hang with you guys. I'm going back. And I'm going to tell the master, thank you. And he was rewarded. Jesus said, go thy way. Thy faith had made thee whole. And so Solomon, God gave him a largeness of heart. Every day I pray God, enlarge my heart. And sometimes we have a small mind. Because why? Where we came from. If we came from poverty, we came from, we came from a certain uh, lifestyle. We, we don't want to grow. We don't want to evolve. We don't want to break out. We stay at that level. And Solomon had a largeness of heart. A heart of thanksgiving. He was free in spirit. And he attracted the queen of Sheba. And when she came, she bought spices and she bought gifts. It's a different dimension. It's a different level. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for healing me. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me. One man turn back and say, Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. God bless you this morning. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Amen. Amen. Just say thank you. Amen. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. You got to say it. You got to vocalize it. You got to manifest it. You got to demonstrate it. I want to thank you this morning that are looking. I want to thank you for your support. I want to thank you for your faithfulness. God bless you. Be encouraged. God is good. I want to be in the minority. I want to be the one man, the one man, the one brother that will turn back and say, uh-uh, before I go any further, I got some things to accomplish. I got some places to go, some people to meet, but wait, 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 wait. I'm going to return and tell God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want you to lift your hand right where you are. And say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Do you know some people didn't wake up this morning? Lord, say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, in my going out and in my coming in. I thank you for the clothes on my back. I thank you for the roof that is over my head. I thank you for the blessings. I thank you for the favor. I thank you for the open door. I thank you. I just want to thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I decree and declare an attitude of gratitude. Thank you, pastor. Thank you, brother. Thank you, auntie. Thank you. Thank you, one man. One of them. One of them. Be the one of them. To tell God thank you because God is looking. He's watching. Where are the other nine? Where, where have you been? You get blessed now. At least you forget the Lord. You got blessed now. Pride stepped in. You got blessed. Don't forget. Hallelujah. 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 I want to pray this morning. Father, I thank you for everyone that is watching this morning and everyone that is listening. We thank you, Lord. We give you thanks today. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for that brother. I thank you for that sister. Lord, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for waking us up this morning. I thank you, Lord, for your goodness, your mercy, your love towards us, oh God. Hallelujah. I thank thee for my children. I thank thee for my wife. Uh, Lord, I thank thee for the membership of ICC. I thank thee for the leadership. Uh, I thank thee for every brother, every sister in the name of the Lord. Glory to God. We are thankful. We are grateful. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Praise and bless his holy name. I bless the Lord, oh my soul, and I will not forget God benefits. Uh, I will not forget where he bought me from. I remember the days, the days when things was hard. I remember the days when things were low. I remember the days when my God, I ran out of grocery and somebody came and dropped some groceries for me. I cannot despise the day of small beginning. You cannot forget where you came. I'm not saying dwell on it all the time. Enjoy the blessings, but don't 
forget. Pride come before fall. Be thankful this morning. Be humble this morning. Be grateful this morning. Hallelujah. And I thank you for all the doors that you have opened this morning. Hallelujah. God will make a way. God bless you this morning. Amen. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Amen. I want this week to be a week of thanksgiving. We don't wait until the last the, the, the Thursday in the month to give God thanks. We want to thank God. Amen. Every day is thanksgiving. Every day is thanksgiving. God bless you. God bless you. Be encouraged. Amen. When we leave here this morning, call up somebody and just tell them thank you. Call up somebody and tell them you appreciate them. You, you know, sometimes people call you only when they want something. Just call somebody and say, I didn't call for anything. I just called to see how you're doing. I just called to say I appreciate you. I just called to say I love you. I just called to say I thank God for you. I just want to say I thank you for you being in my life. Do it. Don't take it for granted. Sometimes the novelty wears off and we take things for granted. Don't take it for granted. Be thankful. Thank thankfulness is a lifestyle. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his holy name. Say thank you. Say thank you. Call somebody up after this program and tell them thank you. Hallelujah. God bless you.